Hello YouTube and welcome back. Today we will be talking about everybody's favorite, Amnesty International. Okay, so who doesn't hate Amnesty International? Well, the gypsies and uh, all sorts of other criminals. But let's leave that aside for a second. Why am I interested in Amnesty International? Well, they attacked my here republic. I must say, I do not agree with the current government. But the law the Amnesty International organization is attempting to prevent is a perfectly reasonable law, and we will see why. The title reads, Slovenia, proposals to strip refugees and asylum seekers of their rights must be rejected. A interesting title, don't you think? You'd think that Slovenia is becoming the next Somalia, or perhaps the next Saudi Arabia. But that, in fact, is not the case. What happened, actually, is that the government proposed to itself that it might change a law regarding aliens, not space aliens, you know, uh, Earth aliens, like Mexicans in America, aliens on the soil of Slovenia. Let's look at what they have such great objections to. The tax they provide us with is a unofficial tax that was supposedly presented to the coalition government in the December of 2016. Let us read the tax. If the Ministry of Internal Affairs assesses that in Slovenia, due to the change uh, conditions in uh, the migrant flow, uh, the conditions in the country have degraded to the point that uh, public peace and order and internal security are at risk, uh, the ministry proposes to the coalition government to propose to the parliament uh, to decide whether or not the measure outlined below should be implemented for the maximum period of six months and decides the area of the execution of this action. The National Assembly passes this decision with a two-thirds majority of all uh, MP. If the National Assembly makes this decision, the authorities can automatically deny entry to persons who arrived at the border or persons who are uh, on the area determined for this measure illegally to direct them back to the country from which they entered. This also applies to those who might express the intent to apply for asylum. The above-mentioned measure cannot be used when the life of the persons, the aliens, is immediately threatened or when there is a serious danger that they would be subject to torture, uh, unhumane treatment or humiliation or punishment in the country with, into which they would be directed to, or when medical circumstances obviously do not enable the prosecution, the execution of this measure from the first paragraph, or when the authorities decide that by their appearance and other some circumstances that person is a minor without money. Now tell me, seriously tell me, does anybody find any of that text immoral or illegal or anything? Does, do you find it bad to protect your own country from possible outbreaks of violence? I don't find it bad. In fact, I find nothing that I disagree with in these paragraphs, which were, by the way, edited by Amnesty with their own agenda later. Anyway, so the country, the government is, we can survive under the migrant we had last year. So let's prepare ourselves for it. Let us make this law for it. And if large numbers of illegal immigrants are again sent to our borders by the Croatian authorities in order to our country, stop them. We will not allow them to cross the border if that poses a risk to us. We will take in as many people as we can, which I don't completely agree with, but Look, it's the EU, they are progressive and shit. Uh, we'll take in as many people as we can uh, until it causes problems for us. This, the minute it causes problems for us, we will implement this limited uh, measure to prevent uh, this from happening, from public order and peace to being disturbed. 
let us go on on what came with us after this short rant. Maybe this deserves its own video, but I must say it here because it bothers me a lot. Apparently, Amnesty International does not know how the Slovenian language functions. In these pictures, words like prosilke, the uh, underscore c. These are just words migrant and applicant. And if you know anything Slavic languages or even any other language in England, uh, you will know that many languages are gender. What do you call it? Noun. Nouns get the gender of who they are referring to. So you say table, table is female. Like in German, if you know German, you have ma male, female, and neuter. Anyway, when referring to persons, you will use the male form as the neutral form. What they have done is use the female form as the neutral form, and then did the underscore and the male suffix that would normally use. When you do that, you should use the male form as the neutral form and add the female in brackets, not with an underscore. This is plain stupid. Honestly, get your act together, uh, op buy a uh, dictionary, read it. Fuck. Amnesty International goes on to complain in this article that migrants, as a threat to national security, which they are, which they have proven to be, by burning down um, asylum centers and so on, uh, and then that on the basis of this preconce, uh, it denies them the entry into the country. Now look, illegal entry into a country is illegal for a reason. Croatia is not at war. There is no war in Croatia, Hungary, Austria, or Italy that would justify us being forced to take in migrants from those countries. But we are, in fact, taking in migrants mostly through Croatia. War, uh, there were hordes of people sent to our borders by the Croatian police when uh, last uh, winter, when the migrant flow was uh, highest. You know, that's illegal. Firstly, that's against international law. I'm looking at you, Croatia. Uh, secondly, that's against our law. You can't cross an international border without going through a border crossing and showing your valid papers. Anyway, folks, that's all for today. A short rant about Amnesty International. Links will be in the description. They wrote a bunch more stuff that, than I covered, but the video is getting too long. Uh, have a nice day, stay safe, buy a firearm, and see you in the next one.